guys want timers like this in your Final Cut Pro software? Well, let's just start it. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Sammy. Welcome to this newest video. For this newest video, we will learn how to make this kind of timers in Final Cut Pro totally without any kind of plugins. Yes, no plugins for this video, sadly. But if you guys learn this video, if you guys can master this technique, you guys can save the project file, use the same timer in all your future projects. How cool is that? And that is no less than a template itself. With that being said, if you guys like this kind of videos, drop a like, subscribe to this channel, and let's jump straight into my computer to discuss further. Okay, so once you guys are in Final Cut Pro, all you have to do is just go to the title panel right here. And then once that is done, all you have to do is just go to elements and just go and click on shape. This is going to be your shape for the timer. And, and this is something which is very easy to use. All you have to do is just, you know, disable fill color. This is the color which is going to be the round of the clock. And this will be white in color. And increase the width just a little bit, just like this. Next one is our timer, so we are going to use time code. Time code is just simply a very simple thing for choosing a time, just like this. It has a timer which is there on the screen right now. All you have to do is just simply click on this, our minute second format or frame format, whichever you like. We are going to choose this one, choose a font, just like this, choose a size, background color, I would say just keep it transparent, just like this. So once you guys have kept the opacity as zero, all you have to do is just crop this out, just like this. So once you guys have cropped the other edges of the time code, all you have to do is just center it out on the circle just like this. Once that is done, the rest of the part is very simple to use. The rest one is to make the clock animation, which is rather a very simple thing. So all you have to do is just click on this one, duplicate it just like this. Make sure this is of a very different color. Let's keep it, for the sake of the tutorial, let's keep it red, just like this. Go to transition, right here, click on clock. Delete this one, and make sure it is all the way till the end. And as you can see, we are getting the clock animation ready. The edge is a little bit wonky, so all you have to do is just click on this one, edge treatment, and make it all the way to zero. Now it is done, it is more or less ready. All you have to do is just simply, you know, choose any one of the other, the other kind of videos. Let's say this one, and your timer is more or less ready. Just drag and drop it onto the clip, and you are good to go. Also, if you guys want to like, let's say, increase the timer span, since this is the time code of the project, the duration of this title is the duration of the timer. So if you guys increase it like this, the timer will also increase. And for the below one, which is the counter animation, just drag this one and increase the length just like this and increase this one's length just like this as well to increase the duration of the animation, which is very easy to use. I hope you guys like this kind of video. So if you guys like this kind of videos, then do make sure to subscribe to this channel. Comment down below, what do you guys want? What kind of tutorials you guys want? And I'll make sure to include them in the future videos. With that being said, guys, I'm Pixel Sammy. Drop a like, subscribe to this channel, comment down below like usual, and peace out.